today we did a robotic myomectomy. Normally, if we do it laparoscopically, it takes a lot of time because it is, a, it is an advanced procedure. You have to separate the enucleate the fibroid completely from the uterus and then suture the uterus back. You have to preserve the uterus. So the duration of a normal laparoscopic procedure is long. But today, when we did it robotically, the comfort was that the enucleation was very comfortable. And when we came, when we came to the suturing of the uterine wall, the comfort was great. Because here, the, uh, the instruments that we used were large needle driver, which the dexterity of the instrument is great because of which the uh, suturing became very easy and it took less of time. So uh, we did robotic myomectomy. This was a young lady who had come, with a, come to us with a 4 cm uterine fibroid, intramural fibroid, and she wanted to preserve the uterus. So robotically, we gave an incision on the posterior uterine wall enucleated the complete fibroid using the tenaculum that was uh, a robotic instrument and then after removal of the uterine fibroid which sutured the uterine cavity in double layer. Mainly it was the uh, suturing part. The suturing uh, in all advanced gynecological procedure requires a lot of practice. So. Uh, what I would say that a person who is doing an open surgery can also comfortably start a robotic surgery because the ease with which the suturing is done for a laparoscopic person to become a laparoscopic person it takes time but if you start with a robotic only it can be an easy task. Suturing on the posterior uterine wall was very comfortable. So today we use tenaculum, the SSI mantra tenaculum. It, had a, it gave us a good grip on the uterine fibroid. The traction with which we uh, used the instrument was also good, which is actually required in the case of myomectomy. And uh, the instrument uh, that was a large needle driver that we used for suturing on the posterior wall was also very comfortable. The SSI mantra, it has a good 3D depth. All the gynecological surgeries we are dealing with the pelvis, which is in great depth. So the 3D, um, the, the 3D magnification helps a lot in all gynecological procedures. Then the next thing is precision. The way we proceed with the surgeries robotically uh, in all gynecological procedures can be of great help to both the surgeon as well as the patient. And the third is the suturing. Whenever it comes to a lot of suturing, robotically, if it is done, it will, it will give great surgical outcomes. I would like to comment here one that the first case I did with SSI mantra was a sacral colpopexy. And that is supposed to be a very advanced gynecological procedure because it requires a lot of suturing, suturing over the wall, suturing over the sacrum, and everything was done smoothly by, a, by the robotic SSI mantra system.